So how about something that has its own oxidizer, such as gunpowder? You see, this is a mixture of charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate. When heated, the potassium nitrate gives off oxygen, which the sulfur and charcoal uses to burn. So I've got a little bit sitting in there. Let's apply the laser goggles, and let's uh, light it off. First in the atmosphere, and then in the vacuum. Okay, as you can see, it produced lots of smoke and burned rather quickly. Most of the air is now gone. Let's see what happens. The gunpowder did not ignite. I saw some smoke coming off of it, so I know it burned a little. Let's try again more in the center of the pile. And that's it. The gunpowder does not burn. And so I'm going to be burning some rocket candy. This is a mixture of sugar, potassium nitrate, and iron oxide. This is used in amateur rockets because the ingredients are readily available and the amount of uh, thrust it produces is quite high. So let's light this on fire and see how it does. So this is in Earth atmosphere. As you can see, it burns rather rapidly, producing a little bit of thrust even. As you can see, towards the end, it moved it around. So now let's try it inside of a vacuum. No ignition. That's interesting. I did see some little poofs as it tried to burn, but it was unable to sustain itself. So even when it's in one solid piece, it can't chain and continue burning. So I've let a little bit more air back into the chamber. Let's see if it'll burn now. That's a no-go on burn. Wait, wait. It's kind of smoldering. And it's out. Acetone peroxide in the atmosphere in three, two, one. Yes, that's a little bit more volatile than gunpowder is. Acetone peroxide in vacuum in three, two, one. <laughs> it still didn't burn. I'm actually disappointed. It needs something to confine it in order to get it to burn and then eventually explode. And uh, at atmospheric pressure, the atmosphere does it, but in the vacuum, there's nothing there. So far, nothing I've tried has been successful, but I was thinking about it, and everything I've tried up to this point has produced gases as a product of its combustion. So I thought, what if I tried something that didn't produce gases? How about some thermite? This is a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. Well, normally this is actually magnesium powder because I didn't have any aluminum on hand. But the idea here is that the reaction will not produce gases might make a little bit, but primarily the product of the reaction is going to be molten iron. And uh, molten iron, of course, you know, is not a gas, so it's not going to leave as quickly, so maybe it can help chain the reaction along. So, let's uh, test this out. This is a thermite reaction in Earth's atmosphere. Here we go. That burned up. I can see that there's a uh, little bits of iron, some magnesium oxide floating around, a little bit of smoke, but again that's probably just from contaminants that burned up. So there we go. Let's uh, try it in the vacuum.
I did not get an ignition. <laughs>